guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Well, today we're going to be doing a one brown tutorial. I haven't done one in so long and I'm also going to be trying a new palette out that I received recently. We literally got so many questions about it because it's more on the higher end and it is a bit more on the pricier side and people want to know if it's worth it. So, um, and if it's going to show up on my skin as well. Um, so yeah, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be trying all the hourglass today. I had a ton of their makeup and I haven't done a one face, one brown tutorial um, for their brand yet. And I really wanted to see what a full face of hourglass will look like, you know? Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Alicia Rashid. Thank you so much for all your comments, hon. I see them and I'm just sending lots of love your way. All right, you guys know I always start off with my brows. So I'm going to be using the Hourglass uh, Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. I really do love this brow pencil. I've been using it. I do have to say Hourglass packaging is so luxe. Like, it, it, it just feels luxe, okay? <laughs> It feels expensive. This brow pencil does come with like a uh, slanted tip. It's very impossible for me to film here. Okay, I'm just gonna film my brow in. I butchered my skin here because I plucked them the other day and... Goodness, I need to get new tweezers. I forgot how much easier it is to do your eyebrows when you've, you know, cleaned them up a bit, you know? So since you guys have been literally telling me to keep posting Halloween looks on my channel, I think I'm going to just keep doing it. I've got so many looks planned, like not, some are just like, you know, a bit more creative, just, you know, makeup looks, some are more like SFX. Um, but, I don't know. So I've decided that I will post some looks, maybe some I won't, some I will. Um, I think the ones that I really like I might post on my YouTube. Because I know a lot of you don't have Instagram and you know you just watch my videos so I still want you guys to be able to see it. Okay so those are my brows, what I do really like about these is that yes it does look like I've done my brows but it doesn't look too overly like filled in, it still is more on the natural side and this lasts all day long so I really do love this stuff. I don't have any brow gel from Hourglass but I have heard they have really good um, brow gel, I don't have that today but I will run some mascara through them quickly later on in this video when I pop mascara on. Um, so next we're going to go on to, I think I'm going to do my eyes actually. I'm going to use the Vanish Foundation Stick in Golden Tan and I'm going to use this, I'm just going to pop some of this on my eyes. So this is the one I use as concealer and I used it in another video's foundation, it was way too light. And I'm going to use their Vista palette or the, their graphic palette in Vista, I think that's how you say it. Um, I'm going to pop some of the brown in the crease. I'm just taking um, a clean brush to bend out the edges. I'm literally just putting this brown softly into the my crease and bringing it out a little bit as well. Okay, I would say I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna sh take this shade right here, which is the shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna pop this with my finger all over the lid. The foundation is not completely dry, so I don't want my um, concealer to my eyeshadow sorry to crease throughout the day i feel like when i get married i'm gonna do a look like this like it's just well, if you put like wispy lashes on a look like this it's so beautiful i don't know why i'm thinking about marriage i ain't getting married anytime soon okay just to clear things up i'm gonna use their scattered light glitter eyeshadow in smoke this stuff is literally so bomb. Ignore my nails, I'm giving them a break. But yeah, this stuff, I love their glitter eyeshadows. They're so nice. I've worn these like so many times. All right, now I'm gonna take some of the black from the palette and I'm just gonna do like a smoky liner. I'm literally just blending this like a normal, like as if I was to apply a normal liner, but I'm just smoking it out a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna do the other eye. 
So next I'm going to use my Caution Mascara by Hourglass, obviously. <laughs> You've seen me use this in so many videos, it's actually one of my favourite mascaras, like it's so nice. Like honestly, just look at that, after a few coats, it's just beautiful. I know there's some on my lid, I just need to let that dry a bit. Okay, whilst that's drying, I really do love their um, primers. So I have their Primer Serum and their uh, Primer, Mineral Primer, their Veil Mineral Primer. This is what they look like up close. Now I would say the serum is definitely for more, more of a drier skin type. And the Mineral Primer, which is oil free and has SPF 15, is more for... It could be for all skin types because I have really dry skin and it works really nice for me. I maybe would avoid it if you have really, really dry skin. But it's not as silicone-y as most like primers are. Um, it doesn't really feel... It feels like a dry lotion, you know. But it really, 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 really does smooth out the skin and I love it for that. Um, they are very pricey but this just feels so nice on the skin. Like it's a beautiful oil but it's not greasy but this is really what smooths out skin fills in my pores because i've got like pores now i don't know where they're coming from but um yeah it really does do the job and my makeup just looks flawless all day this is the uh oily one the serum but it does feel like an oil but it's just it's just beautiful what i like to do is put the um, um primer serum in areas where i'm really dry And then I go in with the mineral primer and I just put this just where my I just want my skin to look smoother. It does have a little bit of a cast at first because it has SPF in it, but it does die down. And honestly, my skin feels so nice. It they these products are they're so good guys i really do like staying on a budget and you know affordable makeup but when a product product is good i will go out and buy it um like things like the huda beauty palette i went out and bought that 60 pound palette myself so it's not like i don't put money into high end makeup myself i think maybe if you're a student it's not for you but if you're like a working woman and you want a good primer when you go to work i think this primer is really really good a working man a working woman if you want a nice skin just go for this you know okay now that my skin is nicely prepped we're gonna use the foundation the vanish foundation in the shade honey which is definitely more my color i'm just gonna use a brush to blend this but this color literally just blends into my skin it's a good match it's definitely it didn't work for me during summer so i couldn't use it during summer but now that i've kind of pelled down it works beautiful okay so now i'm going to take golden tan again and we're going to apply this under the eyes beautiful i'm going to use their veil powder this is a translucent setting powder. Set it under the eyes. I have used this powder a few times and it is really, really nice. Just wanna brush that off. I don't like to keep it too long because it does leave a little bit of a cast sometimes. So you just have to be careful if you're my skin tone or darker, but if you're fair, it's just, fine i'm going to be using the ambient lighting edit in unlocked so i've seen so many reviews on this a lot of you have asked me if it's worth it if it's going to show up on my skin tone so we're going to see today if it will i'm mixing these two shades which are the uh, soft powders they're like finishing powders i'm mixing these two and just setting kind of like you know softening the under eye a bit more and um i like just looking at it so far, I just really like how it's just softening my under eye. Next, I'm gonna use the, the bronzer shade. Now this is the one where I was like, is this really gonna show up on me? I'm actually so shocked right now, it does.
Okay, so the bronzer definitely works for me. One thing I also wanted to know, uh, mention is that they are now like cruelty free. Like I just love it when brands make an effort to be cruelty free. And I'm living for this powder. I think maybe if you're darker than me, maybe NC45 or above is, I don't think the bronzer will show up on you. Maybe like a tiny bit, but I'm really happy with this. Like it really created this soft like bronze kind of tan look on the on the perimeter of my face and on my cheeks okay so now i really really there are two bright blushes here there uh, there's a nude this one's a nude one and this is a mood one <laughs> but i really want to use this because it's a beautiful peachy color i'm not sure i can see that i'm going to try the darker one this is the mood blush this one shows up on the brush a bit more. Yeah, this one is definitely shows up a bit more. So I can't really make most a lot of use out of the um, nude one. It's too light for me. Okay, so finally we're going to try the highlight. I might mix these two to be honest for the, my highlight because this looks a little bit too light for me. Okay, what I love about this is like, boom, it's beaming, but when I look straight, there's no ashiness. I'm mixing a little bit of the blush, but to be honest, I can wear the highlight on its own because I'm using mostly the highlight here. And it's just stunning. Now the real question is, would I go out and buy this or would I recommend this palette? I watched a video from Beauty News and they kind of measure how much product you get. Now they were saying that there's a lot of product that you don't get for the price um which really lowered the value of the palette so it wasn't the price wasn't corresponding to how much product was in the palette but then after measuring there was actually a surplus of product so i don't know if every palette is like that i've seen that people swatch it and they don't really like the swatches but like just putting it on my face like i just love the bronzer i do have the radiant bronze light which i do love as well but this one in the palette's a bit darker and it actually suits me a bit better. Yeah, it's definitely a lot darker. So I'm really happy with that. I, I didn't think it was going to show off me, but it really does. Because when you swatch it, it looks like my skin colour. But now that I've put it, it looks really, really nice. £69 for this palette. Hourglass is definitely more of a high-end brand. Okay. When I was working for Bobbi Brown, they were charging palettes for around the same price. Now, I don't know specifically how much product was in there compared to this one, but normally for festive palettes, it's more around that price range for higher end brands because I compare the pricing to of um, Hourglass a lot to Bobbi Brown, Estee Lauder, and they have kind of the similar price, you know, range. I would definitely recommend this product if you're a fair skin person. Um, you will definitely get a lot of use out of the powders. I feel like without having trying, without having to try it, and if I just went and swatched it, I wouldn't have purchased it, especially for my skin tone. But now that I see it on my skin, like is this something I'm gonna use again? Definitely. Um, so it's really up to you to make that, you know, choice. I think if you're darker than me, there's no, there's no point of you getting this palette. A lot of the colors won't really suit you. So. I think I'm a, I'm around the NC43 and the palette works okay. There's only one shade I can't really use. I love the soft focus powders. They're actually so beautiful under the eyes. It gives this like brightened effect look, which I absolutely love. Like when I look at my face right now, I really do like it. If you're going to buy this palette for someone that's got paler skin, I would definitely do it. They would love it. The powders work so well. They swatch so nice. I think if you're more on a tan, deeper skin tone, then I just don't think this palette will work for you. Not because the powders aren't good. It's just because the shades won't work for your skin colour. Okay, really soften there. And see the foundation is really separating around my mouth as well so yeah i i feel like the powders work really great it's just the shades and it depends what skin tone you are um by the way i'm using the palette again and i'm using this bronzy shimmery color and i'm just blending this under my eyes okay so finally i'm just gonna wear um some of their lipstick this is their lipstick in 
Achiever. I literally keep this in my bag because it's a colour that suits my natural lip colour so well. Oh, here's a little close-up by the way. It just comes in like this crayon form, but again, the packaging is Lux. The lipstick has a slight vanilla scent, but ever so slightly. It does have a bit of a sheen to it, it's very comfortable and it's a beautiful colour. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think the palette is a bit too pricey? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's pretty? I really think it's pretty. I think it's slightly overpriced. I think maybe it was like 50 to 60 pounds. I think 69 is a bit much. But it, was, it, it makes a lovely gift. The powders are really good quality. It just depends on what skin tone you are, really. I guess it was kind of a review of the palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing this. I love the glitter eyeshadows. You need you, If there's something you need in here, it's the glitter eyeshadows, okay? I love the mascara. I love the brow pencil. Like, there's a lot of things I love in here that I keep in my actual daily makeup bag that I use every day, so... Anyways, I want to stop rambling. Let me know what you guys think and leave a little... Uh, uh, Leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.